Okay, I just want to take a look at formatting dates in Excel. So one of the things that you can do simply to format is I can just type in today's date, which is the 16th of March 2014. Okay, if you were maybe in, say, America, you might do that 3 slash 16 2014. If you're set up for a different date system, that's fine. You can just type it in. And you'll see that is now actually in there as, an, as a date. It does actually, it's a, set the formatting automatically for you. I just want to show you one thing here. There's one slight problem with this. If I was to say change that to 120, thinking, oh, I didn't mean to type in a date, it's automatically forwarded it to a date. And you're looking and thinking, where did it get that date from? Well, that date is actually 120 days, because I typed in 120, from the 1st of January, 1900. You can go and work that out if you like. So I've typed it in, it's not right. I can just go to the top here, click on date, and then say click on general or say number, and it will turn it into 120. I could have done that by right clicking in any version of Excel, choosing format cells, and in here I could have chosen the general option or number. Okay, so back to the dates. Now, problem is I type in a date again here, and it's gonna come up as that number there, that is the number of days since the 1st of January 1900. That's how it works out dates. So I'm just going to change it. I'm going to click on here and you'll see I've got some options. I've got short date and long date. Now this is available in Excel 2007, 10 and also 2013. In other versions, I'll show you that in a second how you're going to do that. So I can click here, choose a long date. I can choose a short date, which was the original way I typed it in. But you may want to have different options. So there are just two that appear here. There's one here for time, but we haven't put in a time here. So let's just see what happens. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to my format cells and just take a look at the options for date. And you can see here it's got in here the one that I've chosen. It shows you what it's going to look like. I can choose this one here, so these are just samples, and it's showing you that longer one. You've got this one here as well, so that works similarly to that one. You'll see here, it tells you down the bottom here that date formats that begin with an asterisk respond to changes in regional date and time settings. So if you were sending this to, say, someone in America who does it in a different format, you might want to choose that one, and it will automatically update for you. So this one here is showing me with 2014. What if I just wanted it to be 14? Well, I could just say click on that option there and it's showing me the sample. You don't see it change here until you click on OK. So let's just right click and just take another look here. You can go into this and you can see you could have it with full stops, for example, or dashes and you could have the dates the other way around and you can see there's a number of them there. OK, so I'm just going to go back to this one up at the top. I quite like this one here. But sometimes people want to actually customize. I'm just going to click on OK so you can see it there. Some people just want the month as three letters like Ma or for January, Jan or Feb. So let's just right click, go to Format Cells. But you'll see that that option is not here. Now I've already chosen a date, so that's quite useful. So you'll see, I'm now just going to come down to this one here that says custom. I've chosen this one with the asterisk. And if I click on custom, this type here is actually what you could think of as the code behind it. It's a little bit messy, this one, because it's got like the D's representing the day, the M's for the month, day and year, and it's doing this whole complicated thing. Let's just go back to date. I'm going to change it to this one here. OK, this is not the regional one. And then click on Custom, and you'll see it's come up with this. OK, so what does all of this mean? Well, I'm just going to tidy this up just a little bit. I'm just going to take this out and this out as well. So that still gives me the day, the month, and the year. So those two Ds here are representing the day here. So if I had just the 6th of March, it would be 6. With 2 here, it would be 06. So if I took out here, for example, you'll see exactly what will happen. That becomes 14. Put those back. 
if I want the short month, you'll see I just delete that and it becomes Ma. If I delete that again, it actually has it as the number. So let's put that in. Let's click on OK. OK, so that's done that for you there. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go into Format Cells and show you one other trick that you can do with this. So really, if I wanted to put this in here and I wanted it to show it is actually Sunday today, I can actually put in four Ds. In fact, three would have done it. OK, which will give me the short, the abbreviator, just the three letter. Typing the extra one gives me the full Sunday in there. So if I click on OK, you can now see it here. So that is how you can format dates in Excel. Don't forget, if you change, you typed in a date by mistake and you meant to type in a number, you need to go into here and also change it back to general or number to make it visible there as well.